you have a passion for fashion like I do, then Western Canada Fashion Week, held here in Edmonton, is where you want to be. If you are a cat fan of any kind or thinks your cat deserves a medal, here's an event for you. The host comes out March 29th and it's expected to be a hit. I can't wait to see it. Now, a viral video that either shows talent or someone who has way too much time on their hands. I'll let you decide. Ever wonder what it'd be like to work on one of the largest grossing concert tours in the world? I've seen that video about eight times and it never gets old. I also got some tickets to Bon Jovi next week and I've been counting down the days. I'm so excited. That's all I have for you guys this week. Thanks for joining me. Bugsy Malone was a movie that helped launch a young Jodie Foster's acting career. The movie brought you back to the days of flapper dresses and the Charleston. Now, students from Victoria School of Performing Arts invite you to Bugsy Malone Jr. Classic gangster plot, minus the sex, drugs, and swearing. Beating the winter blues can be tough. The best way to do it? Snuggling up and watching your favorite movie classics. Beautiful Creatures comes out this Valentine's Day. I have three tickets to the screening on February 6th and two gift bags to give away. First five people to tweet to Nate Newswatch, the name of the actress who plays Lena in the movie, will win the prizes. And now, one of my favorite web videos that displays true determination. Hey. <laughs> that little girl is going to be in the National Ballet one day, I guarantee it. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thanks for joining me. Fashion Week is all about the clothes and the love of style. Being backstage, you can feel the excitement and energy before the show. Everywhere you turn, there are piles of makeup and hairpins are in no short supply. Not to mention the beautiful gowns covered in lace and jewels from head to toe. Models are everywhere you turn, getting ready to strut their stuff. I, my favorite part about just all of it is the creativity that goes into it. After everyone is dressed, there is time for a quick rehearsal before the seats are filled. Fashion Week gives designers from all over Canada the opportunity to show their fashions on the runway for all designers and all clothing stores. The night was filled with beautiful pieces from five different designers showing off their collections. Not only are there fashion shows, but also during the week, there are events such as hair and makeup competitions, modeling agency showcases, and dance performances. The designers enjoy being part of this annual event and say they always receive a warm welcome. Yeah, always. This is my third season um, and I love coming up from Calgary to Edmonton and doing the show. Uh. Western Canada Fashion Week wraps up this weekend. Tickets are $25 and if you haven't gone yet, I highly suggest you do so. And Mintonian sat down at the Shaw Conference Center expecting to hear if the mayor is going to run in the next election. Instead, they got a little more than what they bargained for. Advanced Education Minister Tomic Lukasik was not impressed with how the mayor handled discussing the issue and says the mayor could have avoided his controversial speech if he had sat down and discussed it with him first. The latest Donate a Ride campaign brought in almost 92,000 transit tickets for charitable organizations in Edmonton. Good upgrades. Minister of Public Works Rona Ambrose announced support for upgrades to Jamie Platt's family YMCA as part of Canada's Economic Action Plan. For sure. Maybe keep those mittens on a little longer too. Oh, I definitely. I honestly just can't wait for July. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, July will be good, hopefully. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Many people start thinking about their summer vacation to escape daily routine and be a part of another world. I will, yeah. You had mass panic on your face and then just perfect form. It was, to be totally it was awesome. honest, the walk up the stairs is what really almost did me in. <sighs> well, it was n impressive nonetheless. Just, <laughs> wow. This week, learning about the Little Bits Riding Program. We enjoyed our time getting to know the volunteers and the little riders. Post-secondary education wasn't the only area taking a hit on the chin. Allison Redford's I'm government... It wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I just, I don't wash my car at all. It just stays dirty <laughs> all the time. Um, we have Amor Darduri joining us outside. Our, it was a great way to start our morning. We left feeling refreshed and more educated on how to keep healthy. With more on that story. Thanks, guys. 
Uh, the distracted driving law first came into effect September 1st of 2011. Officers are now noticing that instead of drivers obeying the law, they're just trying to be more discreet about texting and driving. Initially, when the law first came into effect, the amount of tickets being handed out for distracted driving dropped. But now, drivers are being more careless about the law. What as people have been doing now is that now that they know it's illegal, they're not holding it up here anymore and driving, they're holding it down here. Uh, consequently, their eyes are off the road longer and uh, they don't want to get caught. Recently, the Alberta government started a new campaign called Crotches Kill. The new campaign features billboards, washroom posters, digital ads and radio ads that highlight the action of drivers looking down at their phones instead of the road. It's an edgy approach that the government hopes gets people's attention. The ads are meant to shock and stress the fact that as soon as you take your eyes off the road and onto your phone, you're putting yourself and others at risk. Not only is the government trying to put drivers' phones away, high school students are as well. On Tuesday at City Centre Mall, Edmonton high school students entered a contest where they made videos on distracted driving. With the videos, they are hoping to get the message across. I think that it will hopefully make a difference and then hopefully we'll have less accidents on the road. Police in B.C. are thinking about going as far as confiscating cell phones from repeat offenders. If that law is passed, Alberta is going to be watching closely. It's something in the background, perhaps. It may, may be the best option, may not be the best option. So basically what this is all getting at is when you are behind the wheel, your phone should be nowhere near you to avoid the temptation of using it. What is the fine for distracted driving? If you are pulled over for distracted driving, you will receive a fine of $172. And this fine applies to all drivers on all roadways unless you are legally parked. The freshman 15 is a commonly known phrase among students. It has been said that on average, a first year college student will gain about 15 pounds due to stress, a busy schedule and long days. Well, I find going to college, I eat a lot simpler, lots of craft dinner and say, hit your bands. And with that being said, I do need to work out a little more. Well, you have to start eating more at school, just depending on classes and breaks. And that's not as healthy as you'd like it to be sometimes. As students, we can talk about it and dwell on it, or we can take action and get moving. A busy schedule can make eating well and exercising a difficult task, but it's not impossible. Sometimes it may seem like the freshman 15 is unbeatable, but there are ways to avoid it, such as packing your own lunch and exercising daily. Craig Hamiluk, a personal trainer for over 16 years, shows me how easy it is to incorporate into your daily life. With exercises such as squats with weights, pull-ups and leg crunches, taking a few minutes out of your day will make you feel better. Back up. Are you sure? You're looking great here. Now, one big thing is to, is to try to think ahead and, and plan ahead. Taking the stairs, doing any types of, of activity like that is very, very important. Uh, it all adds up. Um, also, just trying to get something done every day, like some sort of exercise every day, anything like that would be great. So the next time you go to grab a cinnamon bun with your coffee, maybe think twice about it. Elise Darwish, Nate Newswatch. Hi and welcome to Cooking with Ernest. I'm Elise Starwish and I'm joined here with my friend TJ and today he's going to show us how to make pan seared scallops. Now TJ, I for one am a big fan of scallops but I'd have no idea where to start on to making them so this is good. Well hopefully I can help you out with that. Uh, right on the oil, nice hot pan. Uh, we'll season it with some salt and pepper if you can do that. Absolutely. Some salt over here, over the shoulder. Yes exactly for good luck. And some pepper. A little pepper in there. And so Perfect. what we're going to look for... Well, thank you so much for showing me the basics of this. I will definitely use this recipe in the near future. And that's Cooking with Ernest. Thanks for joining us today.